Okay, here we are on a sunny day in North Idaho, and we have our Champion air compressor here. This is the this is the five horse unit. We have a five horse three phase motor on it. And what we're going to be doing today is I get a lot of questions from people, and two of the common questions are one, how much does it cost to build something like this? How much is it going to cost me to build something to run a five horse motor? And the second very common question I get is people say, could I start a business and do this? Could I build a converter, build converters, could I go out in my area, my city, and, and help people run these motors and get paid for it and build a, build a guy a converter? And I said, yes, absolutely. It's a great way to make money. So let's show you what you got in this one. We're making this quick video. Okay, over here we have the transformer. Okay, This is, this transformer is sitting in a bucket full of oil. It's uh, actually automatic transmission fluid from a car, and we're using the oil to cool it. I did this as an experiment to see if it would work, and it does. It works perfectly. Uh, we wound this transformer. There's about 800 feet of 12-gauge copper wire on it, and that's equivalent to like 2.5 gauge or 2.5 millimeter in Australia, and it would be about $88 worth of wire at today's prices. The core that we wind it on, you go to a motor rewind shop, and they strip the copper out of the old junk motors that they're getting rid of, and you get the cores from them. It's really they're ten dollars or something, five dollars. They sell them for the scrap weight of the steel is really what you're paying for it. You could make a deal and get fifty cores, a hundred cores, whatever you want to do. But then, so you need the core, you need the copper wire. You can wind the copper wire and use the right size copper, so you don't have to put it in oil. You can just have an air cooled one. I did the oil because I wanted to experiment with the oil. Now over here in this box. We have capacitors, okay? These are your run capacitors here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. These are like six dollars each. These are about three or four dollars each. These ones down here about two dollars each. So, you know, you got six, you, 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 and then the start capacitors here. We have two of them connected in series because it's high voltage, and they're about six dollars each. So maybe you have thirty, forty dollars worth of capacitors here. We have a couple of resistors to bleed off the charge. We have our potential relay right here. This uh, starts the motor and disconnects the capacitor automatically. So let's go up here and take a look at the meters over here. And you can see uh, this one, our transformer right now, this is our input, 240 input. We, it's drawing about 2.4 amps at idle. So the transformer is on now. If you want to, you can connect the switch and turn the transformer on. The motor starts automatically. I'm doing it this way just because the way it's hooked up. But let's start this motor up and see. Now oh, we have about 150 pounds in the tank right now. Start the motor up. The relay opens, takes out the start capacitors. Uh, running away, you've got here. Here's your 460 volts about. We're running into that. We've got 7, 7, 7, 5, 7 all amps on the three legs. We have 20, 20 20.8 amps input. Uh, motor runs great, sounds great. On this compressor here, if we come around here, we can see that I've disconnected, I've disconnected the centrifugal motor to make it a little more harder to start. And so that's just something I was doing in my test. So right now, let's look at the pressure gauge here. We've got about 175 pounds of pressure. And you can see it's 78, 77, 70, 21 amps now in input. 1.9. You turn it off. You know, you'll, you don't hear the air bleed out because I got that disconnected. It starts right up again and runs away. Now, the thing is, people are going to be happy. The people will be absolutely happy to pay you to do this. There are people that don't want to fool around with electricity. They don't want to mess around with winding wire and, and doing these, these kind of things. So as a business, you would go over there and you would... Uh, get uh, the equipment and use the motor. You fill the converter for them, set them up, run the motor, and okay, let's take a look at that pressure gauge now. Getting up to there, I don't want to it. So, there we have a situation where 
if you buy the DVDs, I will teach you how to do this, and I teach you how to build a rotary converter, I build, teach you how to build a transformer converter, and I teach you also how to build a transformer and use it with a rotary converter to make it even more efficient and have more starting power. And you have flexibility so that when you go, somebody calls you up, you go there, you look at the situation, and you say, hey, the best thing I would recommend for you is this. You go back, you build the thing, you come over, you set it up, and if you look, you're gonna, people pay $2,500 to have a rotary converter made. So here you are, you have plenty of profit margin if you're going to spend, two, you know, what, $150 on making these transformers, $200 maybe if you make a big one with bigger copper wire. So anyway, this is this setup, and this is what you can do to earn, earn money uh, setting people up running their three-phase motors.